Problem Solving Find a Pattern, Lesson 5.10 We can solve a word problem by looking for a pattern. When we find the pattern, we can extend it to solve the problem. Extend means to make longer or make it continue. We'll extend the pattern. We see 2, 4, 6, 8 and a missing number. Well, this pattern skip counts by 2. We can extend the pattern by skip counting by 2 to find the missing number. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, so we're going to do some word problems. Tala read three books in the month of June. In July, she read six books. In August, she read nine books. If she continues this pattern, how many books will she read in September? Well, first thing we need to do is circle our important words and numbers, right? Three is important, six is important, nine is important. And it says if she continues this pattern, how many will she read in September? So we're trying to answer what it's asking of us. We need to think. We need to find how many she will read in September. That's what it's asking of us. We need to make a plan so we can look for a pattern and we can even make a table of information. We have 3, 6, and 9. June was 3, July was 6, August was 9. So what is September? Well, this pattern is to add 3. It's skip counting by 3's. 3, 6, 9. If we look at it on a number line, it's going 3, 6, 9. And it's hopping 3 times in between each number. If we hop three more times, one, two, three, we're going to be at the 12, aren't we? See? Three more than nine is 12. So she would read 12 in September if she kept up this pattern. Okay? Let's try another one. For some of you, this might be really easy. Bob saved 10 cents on Monday. He saved 20 cents on Tuesday. He saved 30 cents on Wednesday, so how much will he save on Thursday if the pattern stays the same? So think, we need to find how much he will save on Thursday. We can circle the important words and numbers, right? The amounts of money are important that he saved. We need to make a plan and look for a pattern with those numbers. 10 cents was Monday, 20 cents was Tuesday, 30 cents was Wednesday, what was Thursday? Well, this pattern is skip counting by tens. The tens are going up by one each time. One, two, three, and the ones place is staying a zero. So, one, two, three, Thursday would be 40 cents, wouldn't it? We just followed the pattern. See? This one's a little bit harder. Tala is making a bracelet with beads. She put three pink and one green as the pattern. So that's the pattern she's using, three pink and one green. If she continues this pattern until she has 20 beads, how many of each color bead will she use? So we know the pattern. The pattern is three pink and one green, right? It's like this, but she's going to use 20 beads. So we think we need to find how many pink and green beads will be used out of 20 beads because that's the total of beads it's letting us use. We need to make a plan. Well, we can draw a picture and we can look for a pattern. So we draw a picture of three pink, one green, three pink, one green until we have 20 of them. Now we can just count how many beads of each color she had, can't we? The pattern is three pink and one green. We can see every fourth beat is green. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. See? And the pink beads are in groups of three. We have three and three and three. See the pattern? Well, we can keep adding threes to find out how many pink ones there are. Here's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 
So we know there's 15 pink beads. The green ones, there's one, two, three, four, five. Is that 20? Is 15 plus 5 20? We can double check. We can add 15 plus 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. We regroup the 1 and put the 0 down. We add the 10's place and get a 2. Yeah, 15 plus 5 is 20. That's how many beads we were supposed to have. And we know she used 15 pink and 5 green. So in this case, we used a pattern and we drew a picture, didn't we? We can make a table. We can use a number line. We can look for a pattern, and that'll help us solve word problems, okay? We're going to continue on talking about adding two-digit numbers in this chapter, and I'll see you next video. Bye.